Hello loves, it's G here from Golden Thread Tarot. How are you doing today? I'm here to bring you another channel message. I hope this message is finding you blessed, full of abundance. Whew. Okay, you guys, I am really getting, so there's somebody here, okay, that is really, they want to reach out to you. They're feeling very apologetic because I was seeing the Page of Cups. They want to reach out and they want to say sorry. They feel a lot of regrets. Um, this could be somebody that you had a fight with or that has been causing, okay, I was going to say, I was going to say, it almost came out again, I was going to say causing drama, but trauma almost came out, causing trauma, so whoa, um, for some of you, it could be a little bit more serious, um, the fight could have been something very serious between you and this person, yeah, and it created a lot of heartbreak between the two of you, um, especially... I think at first, especially for you, because I think this person, you know, really acted like, oh, who cares? I don't care. And, uh, but they do. Yeah. And that either caused you to walk away or they walked away from you and they're kind of like, I don't care. Um, I feel like, because I feel like these eight cups are your cups. I feel like you invested so much into this. And even though you gave this person eight cups, they still walked away from you. Because I saw the queen of cups too when I was shuffling and the high priestess. Okay. Um, so... I, I feel like this person's conscious is really talking to them, and I was getting, I was seeing the Five of Cups, too, as well. Yeah, so they've been getting an idea that maybe they should come towards you, or we're going to get into it. We're going to get into what they really want and what's really going on with them. Um, what energy is this person in right now? Spirit, can you tell me that, please? Okay. This person's got a little bit of ego, okay? And it's really... It's really, they're really, I feel like this person is fighting their ego. Their ego could be the thing that's that's stopping them from coming forward. But they feel a lot of guilt about what happened between the two of you. Okay, so what kind of energy is this person in? Thank you. Have faith in your dreams. Your commitment is being tested. And again, yeah, this Aries card kept showing itself. It's time to take action. So this person understands that the way that they're feeling, the Cancer card on the back right here, okay, a personal issue reaches right uh, a personal issue reaches resolution. This person is fighting to find a resolution to this this energy that whatever act the whatever action they took in the past has going on between you guys. This person is trying really hard to step out of their comfort zone, um, to push themselves forward to do something that maybe you know because maybe their ego, their pride, their you know what um, I'm just gonna forget this person. I'm just gonna move on. It's whatever. It's this. It's that. Whatever they project onto whatever they projected onto this issue in the past they're trying really hard to overcome it i really feel like have faith in your dreams your commitment is being tested i feel like this person is realizing uh, this person is realizing if you really want this you're going to have to do something about it and you're going to have to step forward um i really feel like this person is being guided to step forward and do something about this yeah this could be somebody in your family. This could be somebody that you've known for a very long time with that Ten of Pentacles, okay? Or this person could see something, you know, lasting into the future with you. And I really feel like they, you know, they want to make amends for what happened in the past. Okay, exactly. So this person has been trying really hard. They've been holding themselves back to kind of like put this to rest or, you know, kind of like squash it, like let it go and move on from it. I really feel like in the past they were they were doing that by just being like, you know what, whatever, I'll just move on. This person's not in my life anymore. Who cares about it? I don't care about it. Um, and I think this person has been holding back a lot. Also, again, with the strength card here, with that Leo energy, with that pride energy coming up in this person, and they're trying really, really, really hard to let this kind of like temperance angel person here, right, like really calm them and um, let go of some of their kind of, I don't want to say their fiery nature that they had about this, but maybe they're trying to really let go um, of their shadow side of this kind of fiery nature they have about this. This could, this could very much so be a fire sign, and they're kind of trying to let go of the pride and ego part of this because they're really chasing after their wish fulfillment okay and they're ready to start a journey here with you they really they've gotten some something that they consider like really good news here recently they really want to share it with you and they have really been feeling your absence from what's going on in their life and they really just want to work with you honestly they really 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 want to work with you Yeah, they see you glowing. They see you being independent. 
um, they're feeling very inspired by you, but they definitely, they want your energy back in their life. They're definitely trying to come towards you. They're trying to step into their masculine energy right now, or they could just be in their masculine energy very much. So right now, um, they might really be perceiving you to be really in your masculine energy. I'm seeing a sword. Okay. So it's really reminding me of the of the king or queen of swords. Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this person has really a uh, knight of pentacles with a three of cups. I feel like this person has always felt like eventually the two of you would come back together or eventually the two of you would work out your differences or this would kind of be squashed. But they're kind of seeing like it's not like they're kind of like any second now, any second now, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, whatever, I don't care, whatever, it's fine, it's fine. And then they're kind of just like, oh, like this is really not, it's really not happening. Like this person, you know. Um, and so this person is like, okay, I guess I'm going to have to go towards them. I'm going to, I guess I'm going to have to step into my masculine energy and, and make a move about it because in some kind of way they feel, I feel like in the past, maybe, um, this person could have had a very competitive vibe in the past. Like I said, this person is wanting to step into their masculine energy and start a new journey here. Okay. Um, I felt, I feel like in the past. This person has, it, it was kind of like a, like a game of wits. Like if you can hold off, I can hold off. If you're not going to say anything, then I'm not going to say anything. If you're not going to make a move, then I'm not going to make a move. That kind of energy that's here. Because that's why this emperor card is here. Because this person's very stubborn. And you and, and this person mirror that within each other, right? This person has always wanted to be with you, okay? They know that they had a choice, but their stubbornness was kind of blinding them, you know, and this person, yeah, like I said, it was blinding them. They've always really wanted to be with you. They've always really wanted to come back into union with you. Um, and there was a part of their ego that felt like, it's kind of almost the sense of like, they looked at you and saw your shadow. You looked at them and saw their shadow. You looked at them and then saw somebody who was being really stubborn and all this. And you were like, fine, whatever, bye. And they were like, oh, so you're going to be, you're going to be stubborn. You're going to be like, fine, whatever, bye. Then fine, whatever, bye to you too. And it's kind of like, they've been looking at you like, oh, it's their ego, right? They're looking at you like in the past, they were looking at you like, it's your ego that's stopping you from coming forward. It's your ego that's slow, that's slowing down the progress that we should be making. Um, This person also perceives you as trapped. They feel that you are being blinded by something right now. They also kind of feel like you're being very foolish. Like they feel like you might be trusting someone that they, that they're, it's kind of almost like they're worried about you. This person kind of has like this very kind of protective vibe over you, almost in the sense of where they're like, it's kind of almost giving me like almost kind of like a like a medium. It's not it doesn't feel not necessarily low vibrational, but it's not exactly the most high vibrational version of kind of like a king of swords where it's like kind of like a know-it-all energy like I know. Like I know you'll come back or I know this will work out in the end. Um justice exactly. They always felt like it would work out in the end, but it's it's come it's become a really hard like a really heavy burden and now I feel like this this person is really feeling like okay I'm really gonna have to do something about this like I'm I'm gonna have to really take action on this like I'm not gonna be able to keep doing this because this person has realized that if they want to maintain this vision of the two of you eventually coming back together they're they're gonna have to be the ones that takes action in, in this scenario in this situation which again, the Emperor Aries energy, they're stepping into that Aries energy. They're stepping into their King of Rods or their King of Wands energy where they're like, I've got to do something. <laughs> if I want to make this work, I'm going to have to come forward. I'm going to have to present myself as a possibility. Um, I feel like there's been distance in between the two of you. And this distance is causing a lot of confusion. It's causing a lot of which way should I go? Which way is going to lead us back together? What should I do? 
Um, it's very much so, but it's like spirit is saying that the problem with this, it's very, where it's not like enjoying the experience that gets you there. It, it, it's just like, oh, I don't care about anything and letting everything that's happening along the way kind of just fly by you to just have like, um, end of the road vision. Like it's only about getting to the destination. That's it. And it's not about, and, that, and it's about staying a little bit blind to the things that you're supposed to be experiencing and learning and enjoying on the destination to get there. Um, and this person also feels like the distance between the two of you is creating a lot of confusion, is creating a lot of, yeah, th this person just feels like all this like clouded energy, all this karmic clouded energy between the two of you. It's like the longer that you don't talk, the further you stay away from each other, the just more... Uh, their their vision of the future seems to be really clouded by all the kind of like BS of projecting and issues. And it's like at first they thought, I'll just back up and I'll let this just work its way out. And now this person is kind of like, this person kind of feels like, oh, if I don't insert myself into this, like it's going to get out of control is what I feel like. Because this person wants to come towards you because they definitely, you know, feel you know they definitely want to put in work on it with that eight of pentacles there you know they feel this empress energy drawing them in drawing <laughs> and i feel like in the past this person was very much so kind of rejecting that energy why were they rejecting that energy yeah six of cups they wanted to be with you also something about their childhood as well okay this could come at some kind of authority figure Again, the pride, uh, they're showing me like a lion. So they're showing me like pride energy where this person was like, um, this could be a person that's used to being chased. Okay. This could be a person that's used to drawing in people into them. And they were like, oh, they'll come around eventually. They'll come back around eventually. That kind of is not really happening. Yeah. And this person, wow. Okay. This person... They see the potential between the two of you. They know. It's kind of like they're like, I know we're supposed to be together. I know we're going to come back together. I know we have all this blossoming potential between the two of us. I am ready for it. Yeah, or. This King of Pentacles here. It's so stubborn. This energy is so stubborn. That's what keeps them locked in this indecision. Like, no, I won't see it. I won't make this decision. But now suddenly, Knight of Swords, they're rushing in with this Emperor energy out of nowhere. Yeah. Page of Rods with an apology, Chariot card, and Ace of Pentacles with a promise of a brand new beginning because they don't want to let this go. Four of Pentacles with the Justice. It's like, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to work on this Ace of Cups, which I'm going to present to you now. They're showing me that Knight, that Knight of Cups again, presenting that Ace of Cups. I want to work on this because of this Empress energy. It's like this person was like, okay, games were fun for a little bit, but not really. This is not really that fun anymore. Like, I don't. I don't want to fuck around and actually lose you. I don't want to fuck around and actually miss this opportunity. And yeah, it's so weird. It's like this person takes a, takes a step forward. Yeah, that's the that's this back and forth fighting energy. It's like this person takes a step forward and they're like, no, I need to stop with the games. And then and then all of a sudden this person's pride was like, but what about them? But what about what they're doing? But what about all the things that they're doing that's triggering me? Like that, and then they get into this defensive energy and they kind of take a step back and they're like, no, maybe I shouldn't come forward. And then, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't come forward. Maybe I shouldn't do this. Maybe I shouldn't work on this. And then they're like, no, no, no. I should work on this. But it's this very kind of like stop and go, stop and go, stop and go energy. It's like this person is taking baby steps into it.
Because they're trying. Oh my gosh. Again, like I said, this person sees like a beautiful future with you. They see you as their Ten of Pentacles, as their Ten of Cups. They see that looking into the future. They're trying to find a way to bring this in. But there is all of this heartbreak that's standing in the way between the two of you. And, you know, spirit is coming in trying to balance this. But fear is standing... Fear is standing in the way. Fear, anxiety, worries. But what if? It's like, but what if is this person's worst enemy? Okay, I'm going to go in. I'm going to talk to them. I'm going to pick up the phone. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to... But what if? But what if they don't? But what if we argue? But what if they don't want me? But what if... No, 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 no. I just won't. But what, and then also like, but what about this? And they said that. And what about this? And what about that? Like, what does that mean? What does this mean? And this person starts getting really in their, in their head and it leaves them in the sense of, <laughs> yeah. and it leaves them king of swords in this, in this sense of thinking, 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 thinking. But what about all of this? Whoever was in this, you know, it, it keeps them like, well, maybe I should. It's almost like this energy of like trying to control the situation. Well, maybe I should come in in this manipulative way. Maybe I should come in in that manipulative way. And I don't mean necessarily lying necessarily, but it's like it's it's like trying to put their best put forward so that they're also really nervous about this thing that happened, this argument that happened, this, um, that happened in between the two of you in the past, it, it weighs really heavily on their mind. And they know that they're unhappy with how the situation is now. They know they want the energy between the two of you to change. They know that there has to be movement, that it's too stagnant where it is right now. They know that the, that the, that the, I don't want to call them mind games, but it is the kind of this game of, uh, it's almost like uh, manipulation in a sense of a defense mechanism. Yeah. Defending themselves from heartbreak. person steps forward because it's still a matter of free will whether or not this person will still step forward or not yeah because they have a lot of regret like i said in the very beginning five cups they have a lot of regrets oh, a lot a lot of regrets if this person steps forward what are they gonna say ace of cups i love you they love you. They want a brand new beginning with you. Um, yeah. They see you. They see your value. They see your worth. They've been learning from you. And they want to present you with a solid offer here. They feel like judgment has been passed on this situation. And they also, I feel like they also feel like judgment has been passed on them for, for the past and what they did in the past. Yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah. Cause you cut them out again. Like I said, you cut them out. You put up your boundaries. You laid down the law. You cut off your energy towards this person and you promptly moved on. <laughs> and, uh, I definitely see communication, open communication coming from this person. But this is a general reading, so I can't be honest about, so I can't be like completely for sure on how open and honest this person is really going to be. Do I feel like they're just going to be filling your head with lies? No. But I also don't think that they're going to tell you like the whole truth. I don't think that they're going to lay everything bare out 
you know, as soon as they see you or as soon as they jump back into this. I think they are going to tell you. <laughs> In fact, this person might even start a fight. I don't know if they're going to intentionally start a fight of some kind of way. What is that energy spirit? What's that energy about? This person might have really not experienced how to have a relationship without having this kind of push, pull, love you, hate you, fight to get back together kind of energy. Wow. I don't know how many times that has to come out together, but they, they want to come towards you. They're very impressed by you. They're very impressed by, by, by you and what you've been through and how you were able to overcome, um, how you were able to overcome a lot of the things that you overcame, how you were able to walk away from a lot of things that were weighing you down. How, how, how did you learn from these lessons? How did you move on from this? How did you... Kind of like, how did you hold it together? Kind of energy. Yeah, I'm not even going to lie either. There was a point in the past when this person wasn't wishing the best. They, they kind of had ill intentions. It wasn't just towards you, though. It was towards a lot of people, I feel like. Also, I feel like the, the not making an excuse for them, but also I feel like the people that were around them also had a, a big part to play in that as well. Um, oh, wow. This person went through 10 of wands, three of swords in the world. This person went through a lot of karmic cycles in their past that really... Um, that really kind of left them with this kind of me versus the world mentality. And that's the truth. And I feel like this person might kind of talk to you about this. They might open up to you about this. I feel like this person knows a lot more about their self than they, yeah, he, uh, with that star card. I feel like this person, this person could have Aquarius really strongly in their chart somewhere. Um, like Aquarius Sun or Aquarius Moon. I feel like this person is a lot more aware than their... I, I just feel like this person's not going to lay all the cards out on the table in this, in this first encounter with you. But yeah, that's the truth. They are going to be truthful with you, but it's kind of manipulation in the sense of that it's half truth. It's not everything. It's not everything they've gone through. It's not all the... Um, it's not all the things that they know just laid bare out before you, right? It's not like this person is, you know, literally going to rip off their mask and be like, here's everything that I've found out in the meantime. There are some things that this person is still kind of holding back. Um, they are, you know, but it's like the more open you are with them, the more open they'll be with you as well. But it might take some time for that to happen. Interesting. I also feel like this person might have a moment where the two of you are like talking or something and this person, I'm seeing someone like put their hand out on the table and be like, look, I want to be honest with you. Or like, it, it's like the argument's going to, or like, well, argument, I guess you could, you guys could be having an argument. Oh, it's in a... Ten of Wands. There's something this person's been holding onto that's felt like a heavy, heavy burden, and they just have to release it. They have to let go of it. Nine. Yeah, they wanna. They wanna. It's like they wanna liberate themselves from it. They felt tied to it. Nine of Pentacles. Feeling independent. Feeling the sense of accomplishment. Feeling the sense of independence. 
they want to liberate themselves from it from this ten of from this ten of wands energy and it, it's yeah it's given me kind of coming out of nowhere like like a sudden shift in tone or a sudden shift in energy in in the situation so you guys could be kind of the communication could be kind of falling apart it could not be going too well um or I don't know, something two of cups I really I really feel like out of nowhere this person is just gonna be like look I really want to be with you and you're gonna be like what or I really you know I really want to be friends with you again I, I don't this I don't want I don't want this You know, or, you know, it could be being very friendly. It could be being very light. It could be being, being very, not very serious, not really talking about relationships, kind of surface level. Like, wow, the weather's really hot. Yeah, it is. Like, wow, I feel like I'm sweltering. Yeah, well, how have you been doing? Well, I've been doing this and that. Okay, well, I've been doing this and this. Okay, well, that seems nice. Yeah, I was hanging out with my friend. Look, I have to be honest with you. Um, Okay, I'm deeply, madly in love with you, and I really want to be with you. Oh, that kind of like that, where it's like shift, like a very sudden shift. Um, or like I said, if it's if this person is more friendly or if it's a more professional relationship, the two of you have, um, it's going to be like a sudden shift, like where, oh, it, it feels like somebody here suddenly gets very taken aback by someone kind of being very just suddenly saying something very like left field, like out of nowhere. And you're just kind of like what emperor emperor hierophant page of swords <sighs> it's almost like this person is gonna say is it's like their internal mo monologue is gonna be like now right now is the time now is the time if you don't get this off your chest you're never like you're never gonna do this if you don't do it right now just go ahead and do it right now <laughs> and so it comes out very kind of almost clumsily it's, it, it, it. I'm hearing an icebreaker it's all it's almost like oh Yeah, it, it's it's like this feeling of like teetering on the edge. It's like which way is it gonna blow? Like which way? How is it really gonna go? Ooh, it's a very interesting feeling where spirits kind of like I don't know how this is gonna go. It's it's kind of un it's a little unstable. It's a little unstable. It doesn't have the surest footing. Six of Swords. Yeah, it's a really big energy here of suddenly how this, with how this goes, you can walk away, decide to put in work, really, you know, share the truth, lay things bare, and have an opportunity to take action and have a brand new beginning with this person. Six of or have a union with this person in a sense of. Yeah, it is definitely a huge tower moment here of this person just suddenly stepping forward and being like, you know what, I I've learned from these past mistakes. I, I know what I want now, and I I'm not going backwards. I'm not, I can't go backwards anymore with this. So it's either going somewhere or it's going nowhere. So let's go ahead and do it. <laughs> yeah, it's the star. It's like this sudden realization. It's this sudden moment of healing that's possible here between you and this person. Show the world the real you. Yeah, exactly. Again, with the water berry and this, and this Aquarius energy, right? Again, immediately, suddenly bearing their soul to you or bearing something very personal to you out of nowhere, believe in the impossible. Again, like marrying that have faith in your dreams where it's kind of like, 
Oh, really? Like, yeah, really. And this person very much so, again, is, is, is fighting back and forth with this energy. What personal issue? Okay. Ask for, I was like, what is this person fighting so hard? A personal issue reaches resolution with this full moon in Cancer. It's, it, it, it's like this person is fighting. I don't want to say necessarily like two different sides of themselves, but it is very much so like trying to find this middle way or this balance between kind of their shadow and their light side, trying to really handle this issue here and step up and do what they need to do the fool yeah this person is trying to find a brand new beginning and kind of like let it go release it let it go trying to start it they're trying to find it they're ready to go on that journey yeah they just feel like it's taking a really long time they feel like they are facing a lot of obstacles there's a lot of things they feel like have been standing in their way fears anxiety worries um that they feel like have been chaining them or tying them down yeah and they, de they definitely eight of wands they want to talk to you about it they want to open up about it it feels like this moment of like purge the sun yeah the sun and the king of pentacles. I'm getting this energy here of shining a light. Shining a light on like a, a different side of this person or a side of this person that you've never seen before. feels so sudden yeah it feels so sudden <laughs> king king of cups <sighs> spirit also wants to say that for a lot of you this is not the person that you expect it to be pisces meditate and contemplate because this tower moment is coming expect powerful change Try to stay as balanced as you can because this one, you, you're not ready. I mean, you are ready, but Spirit is saying, like, you're not ready. <laughs> Spirit is saying you're not ready for when you find out who this person really is. Like, your, your mind is literally going to be blown. All right, like when when you really find out how this person really feels, like you're literally just like you're. It's like a draw, a jaw dropping moment. Like, what? What? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? That's why I hear somebody saying, like, what do you mean? Um, Release negativity. Pay attention. The spirit is saying, pay attention to if you have Scorpio in your chart anywhere, pay attention to where it lands. Because that's going to, like, Scorpionic energy is going to have some really big significance for you. Dragon. 
It was so strange how I just got there, though, because Spirit was like, breath, like hot breath. I was like, is somebody going to have hot breath? I was like, is this person going to have hot breath? And I don't know, there's something about here. It's like this little dragon that's on the head of the Knight of Wands. It's giving, there's something about like dragon energy here. What's up with that? That's interesting. This could happen at night. This could happen at night at... And a gathering of people at a celebration people could be coming together it's kind of giving me this energy of celebration but it's giving me yeah this could be happening soon because it, it, it does have a very like summery vibe like outside uh, during the night after the sun has gone down so the heat has kind of been cut it could be it could happen near water again I'm getting this, although I know this is a lobster, I am getting this kind of scorpionic energy here with the lobster coming out of the water. Um, and I'm also hearing an unexpected pair. An unexpected pair. So I feel like you and this person, although I feel like energetically, I feel like you and this person really match each other. I feel like a lot of people would kind of be like, what? But then it's like energetically, it's like the when people spend more time around you or people see how you interact with each other, they're like, yeah, no, I can totally see this. I see when people get to know both of your personalities, they're like, oh, you two are like the same person. Or you two are, is, it's kind of this energy of being very different while being very alike at the same time. And it's this energy of like, how, like what? That's, that's kind of odd. I've never put you two as friends or I've never put you two as like working well together. I'd never would have guessed that in a thousand years, but it works. But you guys are kind of cute. It's, like, it's kind of like, uh, you know, it's like that unexpected couple or that, you know, that unexpected partner, that unexpected person where it's like, how do your energies come together and just work so well together? I don't know, but they just do. So just let it flow and let it be. And it's this kind of will of fortune. It's this very timing. It's, it's a big thing. It's very unexpected. It's very kind of like kismet, kind of like It's a lot of eye-to-eye -eye contact with this person. It's a lot of, like, staring at each other. It's a lot of, like, ooh, what's going on here? It's a lot of something is here. But it is giving me a very kind of, like, nighttime, summer, out, you know, party kind of energy. Gathering party. Yeah, because we've been hearing, like, like music playing in the background and like people it's like lo low murmurs and people like talking and I'm hearing like kind of like dishes kind of cleaning so there could be like people could be eating it could be like out on a patio at a restaurant somewhere um or like at a party at a gathering um the how formal it is is going to vary for you guys for some of you guys it could even be like like a really formal celebration kind of like a wedding or like a graduation party or something like that for some of you um, it could be some kind of like business meeting that I'm also getting with that. And then some of you, it's going to be very casual. Like you're going to get a very sudden invite from like friends or something like that to go out and go do something. Or you're going to be like, sure, why not? I feel like going out tonight or I feel like going to, yeah, like, sure. Why not? Yeah, we'll go do this. That'll be fun. And it's kind of this energy of like, ooh, like, uh, like the planets aligning and just time aligning perfectly to create like this moment here. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. This is some kind of justice coming in here. That justice card. Oh, 
Didn't see this energy coming. Interesting. Okay, like I said, I didn't see this coming. I feel like this person could feel very on the outside. They could feel very on the outside. That could be you. Having a good time with the three cups, right? And this person feels on the outside. I was getting this energy. Either you are going to see this person and... Uh, I feel like one of you is going to be with a group of people and one of you is going to be alone. That's what I'm getting from that. From that four of cups. Also, I feel like this person feels like it's their chance to get something perhaps that they passed up or they are they rejected in the past. Ace of Cups. There it is. There it is. That Ace of Cups suddenly being offered. I don't know, because for some reason this, this Four of Cups is not giving me like a really strong um, kind of like low vibrational vibe. Yeah, Seven of Hmm. Opportunities for the future. Seeds to be planted for the future. So I'm hearing. Opportunities for the future. Like what you're reaping is what you're sowing. Look at that. This could be at somebody's house also. I'm getting that. This could be at somebody's house. So I don't know why it, it, it's giving me like this energy. It's almost like this energy of like you see somebody out they're with their friends, they're having a good time, and they're and this person is like they feel so on the outside or they feel so removed from you, and they're like I can't I can't stand feeling that that way. I can't stand feeling that way. I got to really work on this to make it right. That's what I feel like this person is like. I got to really work on this to make it right. Because I can't stand feeling the way that I feel. Yeah. But there is still this indecisive feeling. I feel like at the end of this, there is still like this indecisive feeling. That Emperor card. Mm hmm. Stubbornness might be still playing a role in this. Yeah, so I don't know how productive or like forward. Yeah, no. There is going to be some forward movement here. There's definitely a big opportunity for forward movement. Here. So stay positive. That's what Spirit is saying. Stay positive about it. There is a big opportunity for forward movement here. Um, Interesting. Yeah. I do think that people here are going to have their guards up, though. People are going to have their guards up in some kind of way here. All right. Well, that's really all that I'm getting. I'm not getting that much out of out of this. I say that as I look. <laughs> it's been almost like this has been like a 45 minute reading. But that's really all that I'm really getting out of it. Spirit doesn't want to talk too much more about more details of it or or more about it in general. Okay, well, I hope that you received the love light out of this situation. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate you guys, okay? Um, if you like the content, give it a like. If you're not subscribed to the channel, think about subscribing to the channel and joining the tribe, okay? Um, <laughs> please check out uh, the links in the description box down below, okay? Comment down below and let me know. There, There is an opportunity here, but it's going to require people to really put aside the thing, the, the personal issues that they've really been battling with on the inside of themselves and really step out of their comfort zone. It, the stepping out of their comfort zone energy could even come from going in the first place. There's a huge tower moment that could happen here in this scenario. 4444 four, 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 down on the clock, okay? 
and prosperity lies ahead that's what spirit wants you to know prosperity lies ahead there is a really big possibility for some evolution to happen here some changes to happen here that more of that scorpionic energy okay and really setting aside these issues that have really been holding you back you know and it, it is this time for you to step out and still it's like stepping out of your comfort zone but finding safety in in a new place or taking that leap of faith understanding you are good enough to make this to make this work and to make this happen um any last advice about this situation <laughs> Spirit saying, just let it be. Let it be what it is. A new romantic cycle is beginning. With that Libra justice energy. Yeah. A fiery climax is approaching. You are good enough, right? You can handle this. Whatever this tower moment is, you can handle this. Whatever this energy is, you can handle it. You, you can deal with it. You know what you're doing. You know what you want. So just hold your vision, okay? And move forward with that, right? And with this not yet, not, nothing is yet set in stone. It's kind of this energy of, you might feel like you know where this is going, but you don't. <laughs> Spirit is like, just let, yeah, just let it, just let it unfold naturally as it does. Like, it, communication is key, yeah. The, the communication, how open you guys are, how honest you are with each other, is really, is really, really, really going to set the pace moving forward into this next cycle about what's going to happen between the two of you how open and honest yeah because prosperity lies ahead okay yeah so it's like what's the situation here is there going to be a you know your commitment is kind of being tested is there going to be a brand new start or is this going nowhere it's kind of like up to you because conclusions to you know the cycle that you're in right now needs to end confidence is key to your success confidence and positive thinking are going to be the keys to this honestly yeah and when this year commitment is being tested spirit is kind of like you wanted this here's your chance what are you going to do with it what's going to happen with it how are you going to handle this? Don't let your past hold you back. So don't let what happened in the past between you and this person, or don't let what happened in the past between you and other people, you know, kind of taint the, the possibilities here. Cause it's time again with that scorpionic energy to release negativity. It's time to release the negativity in the past, either between you and this person. Like I said, with the whole kind of fighting this energy, Because adjustments are required in this situation. There needs to be movement. Spirit, spirit's like, I'm tired of this. There needs to be movement. Communication is key. So y'all want to talk to each other, so we're going to make you run into each other. Y'all won't squat. Y'all both want to squash it, but you won't reach out to each other. So we're going to just make something happen. It's kind of the energy it's giving me. <laughs> spirit's like, we're tired of you dragging your feet on this. Like, here we go. Here you go. What you going to do? What you going to do? <laughs> Surrender to the divine. Okay. Yeah, step out of your comfort zone and surrender because you're being put in a situation so that a new romantic cycle can begin and you can step into this a time for healing. So watch out. Watch out with any kind of triggering. Watch out with any kind of projecting. Watch out with any kind of like trying to kind of because it's 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 like teetering it's like this could you know devolve into a fight or this could turn into something very passionate and, and be something very new with a, a big healing cycle to happen here don't let your pride get in your way so check both of your both of you we're gonna have to check your egos and you know kind of step out of your comfort zone because nothing again there's nothing is set in stone like spirit can set this up spirit can lead you there but are you going to take that leap oh how are you gonna how are you going to respond 
to, you know, how is this person going to respond? How are both of you going to choose to, you know, so I hear, you know, choose your words wisely, choose what you share and choose your words wisely. And also, you know, really try to respond instead of reacting out of a very like hurt place because a new start is coming here either way. Again, communication is key. Okay, well, that's what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Again, um, I'll give my outro again because I thought we were done, but then Spirit was like, mm -mm, step back and look at the bigger picture. I have more to say. Okay. Thank you very, thank you guys very much. Like I said before, uh, check out all the links in the description box down below. If you're interested in getting a personal reading, uh, please reach out to me and the email down below. Thank you guys very much. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, lovelies.